back to Taking the Sun. I'm Kirsten. And I'm Eric. Now, this week we're going to share with you a little known place that locals like to go to if they want to spend time by the waterfront, listen to live music, and have a nice meal by the river. This place is called Bitan and it's in the Xinding district of Taipei. And what I love about Bitan is that it's still a local gem that have not been discovered by many tourists. So it's still quite quiet and not touristy, which is awesome. But before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That will really help us build out our audience. Bitan is in the Sin Din district, which is in the southernmost part of Taipei. It's got a beautiful riverfront uh, park there, right by the river. It's got a promenade, lots of restaurants there, some with live music. So you can sit there all night and enjoy a drink, listen to live music, look at the riverfront view. Very peaceful, very uh, serene. But I would say the landmark there is the historic Beton Suspension Bridge built in 1936. The locals actually call it the Love Bridge. So of course, many lovers go there and uh, spend the night there. So it's quite nice. But of course, being in Taiwan, there's a night market like a block away, so you'll never miss that. It's a great area that locals like to go to if they want to spend time by the water, but don't want to deal with tourist crowds like Damsoi and other big waterfront areas. To get to it, it's very easy. It's only a 40 minute ride on the Green Line from Taiping Main Station. And once you exit, look for a big sign that says Bitan or follow the way to the river. Yep, and here's my friend Paul. He's been a local here for a long time and he's going to be our special guide for this week's video. Hi, so we are in Bitan and this is my good friend Paul who's been in Taiwan like forever. So he's going to tell us a little bit about Bitan. Uh, Bitan is in the new Taipei area and uh, it's at the last station is called Xingyan Station across the street from this MRT station is this nice uh, river area that I think that you, uh, you guys will like. But if not, then you can be like my friend Eric who's here with his daughter and uh, you can go there with family too, right? So hopefully you'll enjoy Xingyan. And the insider tip is that um, this is a place that locals love and you will love it too as a place to relax and it's not a tourist trap. Mm -hmm. So I should mention that this area, the area is Xingyan, but this area is called Bitan, right? Bitan. Bitan, so it's right outside the, um, the uh, MRT station. So if you're thinking of going to somewhere like Damsoi, but you don't, don't want to fight the crowd and the tourists, then come here. It's a really good local spot that not too many people know about. And the fresh air is amazing, and also the view. You can show them the view, see how it looks like. Okay, 
So we ordered uh, some bubble tea drinks, some snacks. The first bubble tea that came was the bubble itself was actually a little bit hard. And for I think Vancouver standards, you can get away with it, but for Taiwan, definitely no. Uh, the bubble tea in Taiwan is very high standard. No matter what shop you go to, usually it's a very good quality. So we of course told them about it and they happily replaced it, which is a little bit surprising to me. Maybe I'm too used to Chinese restaurants not having that high service level. Um, but yeah, they happily this replaced is it. Taiwan. This is Taiwan. So, you know, Paul right. tells me it's different. And also keep in mind, this is right on the promenade. Um, so you're paying probably double what you normally would get uh, in a typical bubble tea shop. So I guess you would expect that. But yeah, the uh, second one came and it's actually much better. Uh, much softer, chewier. The tea itself is good. Um, even the first one, the tea mixture itself is good. It's a black tea mixture. Uh, so I'm happy overall. So this is the restaurant that we were dining at. There's no English name, unfortunately, but you can see it on Google Maps. It's, uh, the Chinese is Bi Shui Tang. And I don't know why Google calls it a teppanyaki restaurant, because the menu is more of drinks and snacks, and there are some regular food in there also. So we accidentally discovered an insider's tip. Like I said, we complained about our bubble tea, right? And they replaced it happily. Afterwards, the uh, waitress came over and said, hey, can you do a Google review for us? And we did. And you know what? If you do a Google review, you get free fries, which we actually did. So there you go, insider's tip. Do a Google review, leave a good review, let them know about it, and you'll probably get some free fries. But you're supposed to get it even if you do a bad review, right? But, uh, <laughs> That's true. We did a decent review because the caramel tea was actually quite good. Now, for some reason, their fries comes with mustard. I don't know why. Not ketchup, but this is a style. It's actually not too bad. I had my um, skepticism, but it's actually a bit of a honey mustard, so the taste is not too bad. So right now we are in Vipan, and we are going, and we decided to rent a boat, and we are going to paddle. Actually, pedal. Have you ever been in one of those? It's like if you if you've been on a bike, you would know the pedals. It's basically the pedals of a bike transferred to a boat. Okay, we can't see anything. This is the wrong camera for it. We need our big camera. The boat ride idea on the river is a great idea, probably better if you had a lover with you or a significant other who just wanted to chill and take in the peace and quiet of the night. Kirsten gave us a few seconds and then we're back at it. Okay, let's keep pedaling. That way, or this way, whatever works. Let's go this way first. The bridge is so pretty. Oh, this is the love bridge at Bitan. So lovers usually walk this bridge. And on your right, you have restaurants with live music. And you see the beautiful changing lights. And uh, on your right, you have more beauty, the lake. So it's very beautiful at this bridge. So as you walk across, you feel romance. And now that I'm single, I really want to have somebody with me. So there you have it. Now you have an alternative for a evening out by the water right in Taipei City. What I especially like about it is it's not as crowded as Damsui, but you get that similar waterfront experience. And it's especially great if you have a significant other or if you're two men and a little lady. I can sit there all night listening to music and just chill. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and that we were able to share with you a nice little local gem. 
Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that next week we can share with you some more local gems and insider tips. We saw some locals practicing their dance moves, so we figured why not join in.